What's up, Gay Straight Snow Days? It's Mally. I'm here with the first episode of A Year of Springs, which I mistakenly called a summer of springs at the end of a summer's end. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, this is actually a set of visual novels centering around, I believe, three different trans women. And the creator has specifically said not to stream the epilogue, so we won't be doing that. But the rest of it, I am going to cover to the best of my ability. So let's get right on into this. Let's read this quick little disclaimer, which is... This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual events, locales, or persons is entirely coincidental. All right, here we go. Would you like to use hints? Hints? I thought this was a visual novel. Is this a puzzle game too? Oh no, I don't do well with those. No, we make lives harder for ourselves. Do you want sound captions on? Sure. Why not? These options can be changed at any time. Well, duh. I like the accessibility though. That's a good start. Oh, the music's so cute. Oh, I love this already. I don't know if all three stories are connected. Again, I've done very minimal reading, so I don't spoil anything for myself, but I'm excited. Okay, here we go. What, what? Oh, oh, I thought this was like gonna start auto-scrolling. Okay, so we've got One Night Hot Springs, which I assume is the first one. Last day of spring and spring leaves no flowers. I guess we're gonna start with One Night Hot Springs. All right, here we go. That's the last menu screen I'm gonna have to see for a bit, right? Yep. Ah. Oh, it's my phone. Who on earth could be calling me? I, I don't know, mate. <laughs> Jesus. Beep. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love the music already. Oh, this game is so soft and nice and I've only been playing for like a minute. Aw. Haru, it's been so long since I've talked to you. Sorry for calling so suddenly. You're not busy, are you? Uh, I'm in bed. Not busy at all. How have you been? Manami? God, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I've been wonderful, thanks. And that's why I wanted to call you. My birthday is coming up, and since it's my 20th, my parents said they will let me go on a trip with my friends. So, my plan is to go on a trip to the hot springs with my two best friends. And of course, that includes you. Ah. My parents will pay for everything, so don't worry about the cost. Hot springs? But you know that I'm... I know, I know. Which is why I'm calling to talk to you first before deciding anything. Haru, you're my oldest and closest friend. It would mean so much to me if you were here with me to celebrate my 20th birthday. But I also want you to enjoy yourself to the fullest. So let me know what I can do to make you as comfortable as possible. But it's been years since I've been to a public bath, let alone a hot spring. I know. Which is why it's a good chance. You'll be with me. So if anything or anyone bothers you, you can tell me. I'm not really worried about me being uncomfortable. It's more everyone else. Well, that's... That's fucked up. Fuck everyone else. But I also understand. It'll be fine. Nobody will pay any attention. They will. Haru, nobody cares as much as you think they do. I promise. Please come. For me? What should I say? If they have reserved baths or sorry. Both of these kind of sound like no, but I kind of want to take a chance anyway. Fine. If they have reserved baths, I'll go. Yes, it's going to be the best birthday ever. I'll call you again when everything's been sorted out. <laughs> Thank you for the beep. <laughs> okay. She always hangs up so fast. I can't believe I agreed to go to the hot springs. What should I do? How do women behave when they go to hot springs together? You go and you have a good time, same as anyone else? Let's see what the search terms hot springs with female friends can <laughs> I'm not laughing at her, I think it's cute. <laughs> I think it's adorable. I mean, yeah, of course, it's a very real fear, I understand that. I just... I think it's kind of cute that she's looking all this stuff up when really she just... needs to be herself and have a good time, but, you know... Anxiety is a thing that can get in the way of that. Oh, an article titled When Going to the Hot Springs with Your Girlfriends. You don't have to care that much about makeup, so I should worry about it a little? Uh, okay, I've never been to a hot spring, full disclosure, but I feel like the steam's just gonna fuck up your makeup anyway, so I don't know if you really need to bother with that. I mean, maybe wear, like, lip gloss or whatever at most, but as far as, like, foundation and shit, isn't that just gonna come right off? Don't worry about bust size. Well, I guess I don't really have a bus to worry about. Well, neither do I. Busts come in all shapes and sizes. It's okay. 
But don't forget to shave. Wait, shave? Which parts? How much? Um, they're probably talking about your legs. Because apparently women aren't allowed to have body hair, which is stupid, by the way. <laughs> like, it, that's so fucking dumb. But they're probably talking about shaving your legs. <laughs> Which, I mean, my stance on that is the same as it has always been. If you want to, if you like the feeling of, like, bare legs, fine. If you don't want to, guess what? You don't fucking have to, because it's your body regardless of what gender you identify as. Doesn't matter. Ugh. I don't know. I'll just have to figure it out as I go. I'll wait until Minami calls with more details. This is enough internet for me today. <sighs> Yuna. Wait. What? What time is it? Wait. Is it evening? What? Okay, I was assuming it was daylight because the room is so bright, but I guess it's evening. Guess I'll turn in for today. Aw. I'm excited for her. She's so cute! This outfit is adorable! The lavender scarf! Oh, my lesbian heart. Ah, oh, cute, cute. I don't know if she's gay, and it doesn't matter if she is or not, but just like, lavender. The connotations. Makes me so happy. Okay. This game is really soft and pretty, like, I gush about visual novel aesthetics all the time, and, like, game aesthetic in general, because it's, like, one of the first things I notice. I mean, how could you not? It's, like, the visual part, but, like, the last novel we played, A Summer's End, was, like, pretty and, like, kind of, like, a uh, vaporwave, like, bright neon lights. This is pretty and, like, a soft, kind of simple, pastel-y, just, like, gentle sort of way, like, the only way I can describe it is like, you know those popsicles with like, the soft like, ice cream filling on the inside, like, you know what I mean, like an orange creamsicle or something? This game feels like an orange creamsicle, but it's purple, so I'm really here. Wait, are you- is this the hot spring? Why are you so bundled up, Haru? It's gonna get hot under there. What on earth am I doing? I'm not really prepared for this. But I'm here now, I just have to power through this. You can do it, Haru. Yeah, you can. I believe in you. Oh, uh, pink text. I don't know who's talking. Do I give you another voice? I don't know. Haru, over here until I see you and decide what voice I want to give you. Where? Oh, hi, Minami. Oh, wow, Haru. I love your hair. Thanks. I decided to grow it out. It looks amazing. Thanks, Minami. It hi. <laughs> hey, Minami, don't forget about me. Oh, I'm sorry, Erica. This is Haru, my childhood friend. And Haru, this is Erica, my friend from high school. The last name's Nagata, in case you were wondering. I'm Haru Suzuki. It's nice to meet you. You can speak more casually, you know. We're the same age. We're the same age? Yep, we're close enough. Erica's 20. Yeah, I heard from Anami that you two went to the same preschool. Yes. Er, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Wow, you really need to loosen up. A dip in the hot spring will probably do you some good. Manami, you gonna check us in or what? Right, let's go then. Welcome. Hello, I have a reservation under Tachibana. Yes, we have your reservation. Would you please fill out this registration card? Haru, Erika, could you fill out your information? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, hello. Time to fill out this form. First, my name. I probably need to write my legal name. Aw. And my legal gender, too. Wait, why? It's it's a hot spring. Why would you... I've never been to a hot spring. I don't know if this is a thing. I know. I should fill out the rest of the form. Age 19. Oh, you're younger. Okay. Address and occupation... And everything else. <laughs> I love how they didn't come up with a fake when they just like circle, circle, triangle. <laughs> I'm finished. Me too. Thanks. Here's the registration card. Thank you. Just let me. Huh? Mr. Haruto Suzuki? I probably need to answer. That would be me, or is there a problem? Well, the bottom one sounds antagonistic. And I think it's perfectly reasonable for the lady at the front desk to be confused. Because, I don't know where the world is at, like, in this universe, but, like, some people still assume based on names and get confused. So, I'm gonna be a little nice about this. That would be me, yes. Huh. I see. Your room is the ginkgo room on the second floor. 
please enjoy your stay. See, that's fine, right? That went okay. Let's go to our room then. I'm gonna buy a drink first. My throat is like a desert. See you back at the room. Okay, bye, Erica. Haru, are you okay? Yep, you don't have to worry about me. Let's go to the room. Okay, bye. Haru. I thought that went pretty okay. Like, there was a weird stutter at the front desk, but... No one did anything. Nice, it's a proper tatami room. I don't have a fucking clue what that is, but I'll take your word for it. Tatami's so much trouble to clean, but I love how it looks. I love tatami too. It has such a nice smell. I just want to lie down and sleep on it. Go ahead. Me and Suzuki here will just head to the hot springs while you're snoozing away. No, don't go without me. I want to go to the hot springs too. I'm just kidding. Oh, I love their dynamic. It's so cute. Though I do plan on heading to the hot springs ASAP. Too much studying hunched over at my desk lately. I need to give my stiff shoulders a break. Hot springs. We should get changed first, I guess. The Yukata should be around here somewhere. Or Yukata. Sorry. These words are different to me. I am trying. Not here. Or here. <laughs> or... <laughs> a little shuffling. Found them. One for each of us. Ooh, they're cute. I wonder if they're for sale. Let's get changed then. I'll change in the bathroom. Okay, Haru. Bye. What's up with... Oh. Oh, what? What do you mean, oh? Maybe I just want my bloody privacy. <laughs> okay, bathroom time, I guess. Thank goodness the Yukata are unisex. I just hope that it's big enough for me. I, I don't know. Is that a robe? I think it's a robe. Probably a robe. Looks like it should fit fine. <laughs> oh, God. I love the art style, but with the, in this case, I can't tell if that's a suit or a robe or what. I think it's a robe. <laughs> You could tell her all straight lines, so not having a waist or much of a chest is better. So it's perfect for me. I hope I can tie it well. I mean, I believe in you, it's a knot. Okay, that's not a good bow. Let me try that again. Maybe this is a little better? Let me see. Haru, come on. I'm okay with this. Good. You look good. Aw, look at all of us all matching cute. Aw, we're adorable. Sorry for the wait. Oh, looking pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, if I didn't know better, I would have thought... Thought what? Am I just dumb? Am I, am I missing something with Erica here? You would have thought what? I'm confused. Erica, I told you not to say. Say, say what? I'm, I'm legitimately confused. It's okay. I don't know what I'm saying it's okay to. Haru. It's better than the other possible reaction. Let's get going. I need to check the times for the reserved baths. What, you're not heading into the women's bath with us? That would be a bit too... You know. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Erica, don't. Oh. Oh, I'm a moron. Wow. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I think I know what Eriko is getting at now, but... I mean, whatever's gonna make Haru comfortable either way, like, I don't think it matters personally, but I get being uncomfortable, so... It's fine, I wanna check out the reserved baths anyway. Come on, let's go! Uh, okay. Haru, Erika and I are gonna head in then. You don't have to worry about me. I'll see you again at dinner time. That's what she said, Minami. Let's go already. Ah, don't grab my arm. See you later, Suzuki. I'm making Minami worry. I've got to stop that. First, I should find out how to reserve the bath. Excuse me. How am I help you? How do I book the reserve baths? If you mean the family baths, please head to your left and write your name and room on the reservation list. Thank you very much. Family baths are to your right. Yes, thank you. Okay. So it's all about comfort. I mean, 
I can see why, because like me personally, again, I would be like, it's no big deal. Come join us in the women's bath because you're a woman. You say so, you are so. Like, duh. But there's also like, I feel like there's a level of comfort. And again, I can't really speak personally to this particular experience, but the reason why I'm covering it is so that I can share more of these sorts of stories because this is part of my community too. It's just not my personal experience, so... Most of this is probably going to be mainly me speculating on things, and if I get something wrong, please tell me. <laughs> like, it, it's okay. I, I want to know. But I think right now this is about sharing an experience, which is honestly what visual novels have been all along, so... I'm excited to learn a little more. I came here, but... Is it really okay for someone like me to head into a family bath? Haru, it's a family bath. <laughs> of course it is. It's fine. Anyone can go into a family bath. That's why they're like that. Can you even use family baths on your own? If people can use family restrooms on their own, I think you can use a family bath on your own. I'd just be taking away time slot from an actual family. Yeah, but you, you have your own personal reasons and that's okay. What should I do? It's one time slot. I'm gonna let you do it. I guess it should be okay if I don't take too long. Yet you have every right to be here as much as anyone else, the fuck? It would be a shame if I came to a hot spring but didn't actually go in. Right, and you're not comfortable enough to join your friends in the women's bath yet, so this is a good start anyway. And it's been so long since I've been at a proper one. Okay, I'm going to reserve a time slot. Let's see. What's up? They're all booked. Oh, Haru. Are you serious? Well... That is kind of usually the case with family anything, so I guess that's expected. Aw, Haru. And here I was trying so hard to encourage myself. Excuse me. Sorry, I was just leaving. Would you like to book the family baths? Aw. Er, I was going to, but they're all booked. Oh no, I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. May I suggest you enjoy our splendid women's baths instead? We have vase-shaped bathtubs which you can enjoy privately, like the family baths. If you would like, I can show you to the baths. No! Is something the matter? No, I just... Tell her it's nothing or give an explanation. Well, okay. You don't owe a stranger an explanation, but I'm kind of curious to see what she's gonna say if I try to explain. Maybe she can help. The truth is, I think that if I go into the women's baths, it might make the other patrons uncomfortable. That's why I wanted to use the family baths. I see. I understand your concerns. However, as it is, you won't be able to enjoy the baths in this wonderful hot spring town. I can't allow that. <laughs> Aw. What? I can't allow one of our guests to miss out on our fantastic hot springs. No, it's my own problem, so... No, you came to enjoy the hot springs, so I will ensure that you can. This is so cute. Aw. Would you please tell me your name and room? Er, it, it's Haru... Haruto Suzuki in the Ginkgo room. That would be Mr. Haruto Suzuki, then? Well, technically, but can I can I give her the one I, that I want to use? Miss would be fine. Yeah! Please forgive me. Now, if you would please wait here for a moment. Now I'm even causing trouble for the staff. What? She wants to help, Haru. It's okay. I guess I should just wait. I apologize for the wait. <laughs> no, that was hardly any wait at all. It was like two seconds. With your permission, we would like to upgrade your party to a room with an open air bath. I have no idea what- I've never been to a hot spring. What is that? What? Would that be acceptable? I don't want to cause any fuss. It is our way of apologizing for the fully booked family baths. We want all of our guests to enjoy our hot springs. Aww. That's so nice. Can more places be like this, please? This is cute. It's also a personal wish from a staff member who loves this hot spring town. Will you accept the upgrade? I... Is it really okay? Of course. Then... Yes, please. Thank you very much. If you would allow me to accompany you to your room. Aww. More places need to be like this. This is the Azalea room. I don't know how to thank you. It was nothing. I hope you enjoy your stay. What a nice person. Yeah, more people need to be like that. 
She said she would tell Minami and Nagata about the change in rooms too. Who's Nagata? Oh! Wait, is that a thing in... Wherever... <laughs> wherever this is set? Where if you're not as familiar with the person, you start calling them by their surnames? Okay. I didn't think people would be that accommodating. Maybe the world is kinder than I thought it was. Let's check out the open air bath then. Yeah? How pretty. This is really, really nice. The view is amazing. I don't even want to think about how much it would cost normally. It's absolutely gorgeous. Is it really okay to get an upgrade like this for free? While I don't understand the specifics of your situation specifically, <laughs> I've said specifically too much, I do understand the feeling of feeling like you don't deserve the nicer thing, of like you don't deserve to be accommodated, and <laughs> it's gonna feel weird, and I don't know if you're ever gonna be comfy with it. I still am not, but it is okay. Uh, stop worrying, Haru. Stop worrying, Haru. <laughs> The staff said it was okay, so I'm going to enjoy this. I need to wash first. Good. Oh. Oh, I love the smell of this shampoo. Chrysanthemum? It's really relaxing. And this is a charcoal soap? Oh, those are really nice. Cool. Now to try out the conditioner. And now to wash it all off. And head into the bath. Aw. Cute. Oh, you look cozy, Haru! Oh, wow. I can feel the knots in my muscles loosening. I can't even remember how long it's been since I've soaked in a real hot spring water. So again, I've never been to a hot spring, but I'm gonna guess it's like a hot tub, right? Like a jacuzzi or whatever? Okay. I could never afford to go to a place like this myself. And I can't go into the regular hot springs. I mean, you can. But you're not comfortable yet, and that's okay. All I've got is my bathtub at home. I wish I could stay in here forever. I'm glad we got her the bath anyway, because she deserves it. Huh, that was a good soak. I should get dressed. What a wonderful bath. Thank you, staff lady. Oh, there we go. Wow, time passed pretty quickly. Manami and Nagata should be back soon. Oh, speaking of... We're back! Hey, Suzuki. I heard from the staff that we were upgraded to a room with an open-air bath. Yeah, because the family baths were all booked. Wow, that's so nice of them. The staff didn't just tell you to go to the women's baths? Well, she offered. I said no. She said K. <laughs> Erica. Now, let's reply. I want to be honest with them. Because, like, I, I have hope here. Like, the past few novels have always painted things being like, you can't say a word about it because it's going to get you bonked and, like, discriminated against. But I don't think that's the case here. I, I think we're in a safe space. So let's be honest. She did, but when I explained, she was very understanding. Whoa, that's really cool of her. Yeah, I was surprised, but happy. Did you two enjoy the hot springs? Yep, it was really nice. Yeah, I've never been to such a proper expensive place before. You should have come with us. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, Haru, I think you've got something in your hair. Let me get that for you. It's okay, I'll get it myself. Uh, okay. You don't even know where it is. You can tell me. Wait, Haru, what's wrong? But it would be easier if I took it. There, I got it. Thanks. W wait, Haru, what, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, is that how it is? Erica, I don't... What? I'm so... You confuse me. Is what how it is? Yeah, what are you talking... What? It's hair. Nothing, nothing. No, explain! You're confusing me! <laughs> when is dinner getting here? Okay, no explanation whatsoever. Alright. I, I don't get it. It Something was in her hair. Is it my bow? My bow looks fine. Oh, someone's knocking. Excuse me. Good evening. Please allow me to set the table for you. What would you like to drink? 
What do you two want? Uh, how about beer for everyone? I'm underage, so I'll just have oolong tea. Right, right. Two beers and one oolong tea, please. Please enjoy your meal. Manami, are you okay with beer? I've never actually drunk before. It'll be fine. It's your 20th, so you should try a bit at least. If you don't like it, I'll drink it for you. Sounds like a bad combination given what I know about you so far, but okay. More importantly, this is dinner. This looks amazing. Well, I can't tell. I'm not allowed to see it. <laughs> Let's eat. Okay. I, I guess it looks good. Oh! Oh, it does look good. I know it's mostly cubes and squares, but I can tell what everything is. It looks good. I requested a tofu nabe so that we can all share. I haven't a clue what it is, but it looks good. Don't worry, Erica. It's all vegetarian. You're vegetarian, Nagata? Yeah, so it's really tough eating out. I can't even get a salad without worrying about it having animal products inside. Really? Isn't it just vegetables? Uh, no. Not always, because, like... Some people add meat to their salad. Some people toss bacon over it, which kind of negates the salad a little bit, but, you know. Huh, you'd be surprised. There's stuff like bacon. I literally just said that. And gelatin sometimes. Who's putting gelatin in the salad? Yeah, Manami bought me a potato salad with gelatin and bacon before. But I know better now. Anyway, the drinks are here, so we should toast. You're the birthday girl, so go ahead. Okay, then. Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. It means a lot to me to have my two best friends here. A toast to my friends. Aw, cheers. And cheers in my voice, because I can't split my voice into two. Now that we got that over with, let's eat. Again, just me can't split my voice into three. <laughs> but I like the color coding, it's nice. This tempura bow, Jesus, my take? I don't know. I'm bad. It's so crispy. Oh man, this tofu is so soft. It tastes even better with a bit of the pink salt. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> that was delicious. I'm so full. Of course you are. How many bowls of rice was that? I don't know. I'm at my limit, too. You two are idiots. Haru isn't an idiot. Wait, is Minami drunk? <laughs> oh no. Neither is Minami. Such idiots. Erica, what? What is your problem? Erica, what the hell is your problem? You're such a brat. My body feels really heavy. <sighs> I'm assuming that's what happened. <laughs> ah, she fell asleep. <laughs> she probably didn't ragdoll like that, but you know. Suzuki, can you help me carry her to the futon? Uh, okay. Dump the body. <laughs> She's surprisingly heavy. Because she does sports, it's the muscle. Really? I didn't know that. Though well, I can imagine it. She's always so full of energy. She went out like light today, though. I think it was the beer. Yeah, trust Minami to be such a lightweight. It's a good opportunity for me, though. Uh, what? A good opportunity? I wanted to talk with you. What? But Manami was being all sensitive about it. Uh, wh what? So I figured I'd ask when Manami wasn't around. What? I'm not great with this sort of thing, to be honest. But I really just want to understand a bit better. And you can tell me to stop at any time if you don't want to talk, so... Mind if we chat for a bit? I don't like where this is going. Nagata is Minami's friend, so I'm sure she really does just have good intentions. But I haven't really properly talked about this to anyone before. What should I tell her? I think I'm gonna hold off on this for next time because, like, we had a nice, really sweet, wholesome day. We met, I think, pretty much everyone we're gonna meet, at least in this first little piece. And I kind of want to end it on a mostly good note, but this... This feels... I This, is, this feels a little... I don't think this conversation is going to go well either way. Like, if I say I'm a bit tired, I feel like she's going to push it anyway. And if I just say, what do you want to talk about? I feel like this is just going to skip the part of her coercing um, Haru into talking. So we're going to pick up with this next time. But I just want to really quickly say that, like, 
it's no one's job to educate you. <laughs> like, not just trans people, anyone, like, lesbian, uh, gay, bi, ace, whatever, like, if we're fine talking about it, fine, like, I'm pretty chill talking about my sexuality and stuff, but it, it's not my job to educate you. <laughs> I think I've always found that kind of weird. They have phones from the very top of scene one, like she Haru's shown with a phone, which might mean I assume that means like there's internet and stuff, right? So go on the internet and ask the internet your questions instead of putting all that weight onto another person. Like it's not their job to educate you. You need to educate yourself. Like, it, we're not a specimen that you can put under a microscope. That's just, I don't know. It's always been weird. Like, I personally don't mind questions, like reasonable questions. I mean, there's, I've gotten some weird ones before. Like, I personally don't mind, but like, that shouldn't be the first thing you do. Like, you, if you're curious, go on the internet. It's a thing. Don't just pin it all on one person. It's weird. <laughs> it's fucking weird. And the great thing about the internet is I'm pretty sure you can find like blog posts or whatever if you don't want to like look at factual textbooks or whatever if you want to hear from a real person. And again, the great thing about that is it's consensual. It's public information because they posted it all on the public. That's different than just like finding your trans friend and going, Educate me or finding your lesbian friend and going educate me. <laughs> the internet's a thing Please go there first. It will save you a lot of time and probably some awkward conversations <laughs> I don't know that that's just how I feel about it But we're gonna pick up with this next time because I, I still want to end on a good note very cute game so far Again feels very much like a little creamsicle and I love it So we'll pick up with this next time, but thank you so much whoever has me watching this like comment subscribe it really does help me out until next time Bye Bye. Trans rights are human rights.